Hey guys, what do we have here? It's Saturday, 12.19 a.m. in Croatia. I'm in uh, Vimper mode, so it's gonna be night streams for at least a couple of days. I uh, said I would, be, uh, I would be doing one or two campaigns uh, this month, uh, even without the uh, the patch. There hasn't been any hotfix. It's too, uh, too late for a hotfix anyways. It's called fix at this point, so I guess we're gonna be getting a small patch before the next DLC. No news about this, but a couple of weeks ago they said uh, it's gonna be a couple of weeks, because uh, they were still on vacation or something, who knows. So, uh, decided uh, we'll finally do that. Uh, it used to be called Vemper Coast, now The Awakened. That's why the title says The Awakened number one. Uh, this is the first time we play uh, Luther Harkon with a new name. It's uh, for categorizing uh, the playlists on YouTube. Uh, we already played Luther Harkon uh, when uh, Vampire Coast got released the first time. This one is going to be a milestone campaign from the last year, one of the four remaining ones. We still have uh, three more after this one. And uh, it's going to be a challenge campaign. Uh, this is uh, the Vacant without artillery. So no easy game, easy life, uh, early game, uh, Mortars, which makes uh, Vampire Coast uh, uh, trivial to play. Uh, and no Necrofax Colossus, we'll include Necrofax Colossus uh, as a part of the artillery. So uh, no Mortars, no uh, Coronades, Carronades, I mean, no, uh, uh, what's it called, the big, the big cannon. Queen Bess. So, uh, like I said, the challenge campaign. We'll see how it goes. Uh, no goals, really, what we're gonna do with this campaign. Uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna go for short campaign victory. We've all done that in the past. And uh, I'm gonna try to avoid getting uh, any any type, any any amount of burnout uh, before uh, at least the patch. Or hopefully before Warhammer 3. I'll take a page out of uh, Legend of War's book and uh, it'll be... Uh, Quitting campaigns uh, when we reach critical mass and playing uh, more campaigns, or uh, in other words, play something else uh, to avoid burnout as well. So not just uh, Warhammer. Uh, like I said, it's gonna be two campaigns uh, planned this month. Maybe some of the request something, many month request. Some campaigns, uh, the nature of them will still require us to go to uh, a victory screen just because of the difficulty. So it feels so much more satisfying and harder to get there. But this uh, campaigns like this uh, probably just critical mass. So uh, the vacant used to be Vampire Coast, led by Luther Harkon. They start uh, on the Vampire Coast in Lastria. Uh, initial challenge normal. This is uh, the Vampire Coast, uh, the uh, pirate faction. They have infamy and loyalty. It says destroy second raid to build a reputation at sea, whilst keeping ambitious commander loyal and trustworthy by imparting riches and wealth to them. What? Who, what? Legendary Admirals, this game is life. You don't even recruit regular lords unless you play a super long campaign. Even then, you still have five uh, legendary guys. This is uh, the only faction that has. Uh, l I mean, not anymore, really. But uh, they have quite overpowered uh, uh, regular legendary lords, especially in the Notorious Admiral. So, it doesn't matter which one you play, Berg Black is pretty much uh, as strong as any legendary lord in the game. So, as you play any of these factions, you have two strong legend lords, no matter what. There are pirate calls. You guys are familiar with the Skaven Undercities. Basically, uh, you don't need to capture the settlement uh, to make money. Uh, if you don't want to. They still have objective to capture settlements, though. Luther Harkon is one of the, uh, I guess, probably also close to... Uh, Count Octal is one of the uh, two that which actually wants to create an empire. But especially Luther Harkon, he wants to create an empire last year, so... It's not uh, like uh, like the regular pirates. He actually wants to build something, and uh, they have uh, they have better uh, range uh, stats as long as they have a lot of ammo. Uh, they're pretty much a mix of uh, uh, empire and vampire counts, but don't excel in uh, in uh, uh, in uh, either area really. 
So uh, we have faction effects. Uh, Luther Hagen hates the Lizardmen. Plus 8 leadership fighting against the Lizardmen. Diplomatic relations minus 60 with Lizardmen. Male defense plus 6 for lords and heroes, all armies. Really boring uh, faction effects, uh, just shoot me in the head. Uh, Lord effects, Luther Hagen minus fracture, any of his myriad different personalities may seize control. It's a, uh, uh, he has a set of uh, uh, traits which uh, just uh, rotate, cycle, and he has different uh, capabilities uh, depending which one is active. Uh, his army has uh, extra 25% magic resistance. He's actually has some of the highest magic resistance in the game. Uh, Vampiric corruption plus 3 local province. Pretty boring uh, faction effects. A lot of effects are pretty cool. Uh, starting with a uh, bloated corpse, yay. Deck droppers and unit of mo mo mongols. Not so cool anymore since they get nerfed. Initial challenge is normal, let's go. Normal on the current state of the game. Uh, there are no mods. No mods used in the game. Uh, just. Uh, let me just edit that. Mods. No extra chaos right now. Okay. Okay, I guess we can uh, uh, put it in order. Let's go. Let's go. But they don't mention, uh, I, I don't think they mention here, it's the offices they have uh, on the, uh, they have an office system similar to the old Emperor style and the, and the wood elves. I'm not a fan of mods, uh, uh, really. I don't want to justify the laziness and uh, delaying of patching or patching in general. I protest and complain. Good evening, Arch Grand Commodore. Arch Grand the Commodore. Oceans are ripe for piracy, and you, as the founder of the Vampire Coast, should take to the seas at once. However, in the north, a crew abandons your command. See them flogged for their lack of loyalty, I miss this and game. send a clear message. To all would be you spend thousands of hours playing a game, you definitely start to miss the it if you don't keep playing it. The oceans of this world are a ferocious and deadly place, but nothing compares with the Galleon's graveyard. Ooh. Sail carefully here, my lord, for it has devoured You've heard about the old chaos vessel, man. have strayed too close. To the south, in the hot arid dunes, the followers of Nagash plot his return to power. Their hunger may prove a useful tool in building an alliance of the dead. Across the straits, Peasants elves and the accursed lizards rule the jungle city. Oh, the high elves are mortars, so oh boy. Know, much gold can be plundered here, and resources gathered to further yeah, Alex, your fleet. Alex, good. Just avoid the cursed treasure. I know I speak to not one. But many who inhabit your fractured mind. I'm crazy, Lord, not stupid. And that some consider this a weakness and curse. But like gold doubloons, more is better than one. Raise anchor, and as one, begin the reaving. Okay. Let me remind me what the hell is even a uh, uh, condition here. Well, provinces. Vampire Coast. North Great Jungle, Southern Great Jungle, Hedan Jungle, Keeping Jungle, Land Green Mist, Volcanic Islands. Short campaign week to destroy Order Solar, Master, Blessed, Red, Clump, Pestilence, Itza, Tlax, and Cut of Sotic. Six uh, settlements. They really need to fix this. Should be a pirate co as well on this, on top of this. Adjust the other ones. You do start with Awakening though. I don't expect we're gonna be doing a victory condition. Probably gonna be just playing it for like 3 days or 25 plus hours. Special or no? No. Special is gonna become a rare thing. We still have one campaign from the last year with Special on, which is the Order of Lord Masters, uh, Booker's uh, Milestone campaign. Which will be soon. But other than that, uh, 
you can expect only one special campaign every two or three months and uh, it will actually have something uh, uh, tied to it like if you manage to uh, cause the fed screen we'll get uh, another campaign uh, on top of it since it's gonna be more rare Uh, the special edition options to sabotage the campaign, uh, pretty much, Alex. I'm uh, wondering why is it so bright, but I haven't seen these colors in a while. The special is gonna be much rarer uh, starting this year. Baker. The Mad. So more attacking weapons during the rampage. Captain Dracula. Mill defense for zone pirate decans mob and zone pirate gunnery mobs. Now they did some changes since we played them last. The growth has been massively nerfed on the core building. But it's fine. They do have a, a growth building here which is pretty strong. This is trivial. Uh, the last growth was uh, was all powered. I would rate uh, Vampire Coast Goddess is nothing special, really. Nothing special. So we have to Not deal with this. Fun. Eight units. We have eight units of our own. Not this officer. Can uh, raise dead here. I kinda wanna get at least two handguns since we're not gonna have artillery. Check diplomacy first. When I played the, the Vampire Coast the first time, the Awakened, uh, had the, some of the worst diplomacy experience in all of the campaigns. They pretty much everybody hated. They're really hard to make good diplomacy, uh, uh, the pirates. What do you want, Thrall? Thrall. Version minus 20. Sorcerer Inventor, yes, yes! And yeah, we're not gonna have, get, get, uh, have any friends here except uh, uh, Arkn. Arkn is for. probably gonna get killed. I may just grant it. So th th this should be a very strong faction, except they are just... Trash. Trash. Check it out, Runescape. What are our objectives here? Search 3 technologies, win 3 battles, 1000 enemies. Okay, uh, we have uh, only 200 infamy. Yeah. The Notorious Admiral. should be our second uh, one and once we get the uh, uh, recruit ranks so uh, we can assign uh, offices five 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 eight ten five some of these are really overpowered 97 percent upkeep for all units all arms faction wide research rate cheaper construction uh, this one is this one is just insane even if this one was doing a third what it's doing would be insane, uh, like this is just out of control. This is probably one of the most overpowered things this faction have. So we need to get a fleet engineer as soon as possible. The fleet selling admiral and a fleet secretary are also very good. I am listening. So we won't be able to use artillery. This, this is actually gonna make us quite weak. If we don't use artillery, we don't even get this ability, huh? I guess we're gonna have to use the gunners. So it's still worth building the artillery building. 
Hmm. You can also go for extra Mongol Hunter. No Necrofix Colossus, no Mortar, no Carronade, and no Imbes. It's not convenient to go for this one because the Lobster is on a good building. And it hook. Okay, let's just go into the first battle here. I don't think they will retreat if I get uh, if I get uh, handguns, the zombie pirate gun and mobile handguns. Let's raise the dead here. Souls are booty. Fifty-fifty. They do have uh, deck droppers and bombers. Army on the left, army on the right, 50-50. God, they missed 50-50 in the, the Spanish guy. Hey, Bryce. God damn, man. Spanish guy is here to stay at Cheat Wizard. Even before he exploded on Twitch, he was in this channel. Just focus on the bombers first. Most fun thing about uh, playing Vampire Coast, I have to say, it's artillery. In fact, you have artillery and strong magic. But we do not have artillery in this playthrough. This is gonna definitely de uh, de uh, lower, the, uh, lower the, ex the fun, I guess you could say. Range here. A lot of uh, uh, shooters in a unit of uh, uh, in a unit of a uh, uh, zombie uh, gunnery mob, but they're very slow. Very slow. Mongols will kill the zombies. I 
Hey, Big Smalls. I'm no doubt there's a mod for editing. No doubt. Mongols are uh, uh, killing the zombies here. Wearing uh, uh, good damage here, but not too many kills. Soon we'll be sacrificed. I can't believe it takes so long for these guys to crumble. There's one guy and the other one die. Ridiculous. Main reason the Mongols got nerfed, uh, uh, you know, without mentioning the Pega, it's because they have hunger. These guys actually uh, managed to kill target here. I'm gonna play the game now. This is not a pretty quick trip, so get extra experience. Lost to one gunnery mob, uh, the exploding edit 138 kills, it's really good. Go. And for so, two. so we have run some gaps for just money, no downside. We can share the loot for increase Split of loyalty, some experience for three turns at the cost of infamy. A really shitty loyalty option. You gotta be desperate to use this. And there is a pretty good replacement option. It's a stronger version of dominant captives that the map accounts have. Kill them. Raise them. Mm, we are in our own territory, so we'll get replenishment. So Freedom I, is not free. I guess we can just... Uh, more husks for my crew. In just the uh, reins of the captives. Power. More power. But, uh, uh, a hidden treasure. That's the one thing, another thing with the, uh, with the uh, vampire factions. They have treasure maps and pieces of eight. Uh, I guess this one is a box marsh. This is the starting one. This one, who knows? Piece of eight are those roaming pirates. And so you get the extra rewards. This place looks like a tier two. Do we even need the replenishment here? You say something. I remember if we can actually come from here, but we can just raise the dead here. Oh, what a shocker! Proud march. I'm getting twitchy. But they do have Temple of Clanklan and the Pox Marsh. We'll try to secure the Vampire Coast. I uh, would hate to go to war with high, against the High Elves. Without mortars, this is going to be a nightmare. 
My madness is not Mortis absolutely dominated high elf shit on them. The whole ult, you can take whole ult on Mortis in early game. But if you don't have mortars, you're fucked. Especially early. Curse my crowded psyche. I want the seascape artist and I want ship's carpenter. Oh my god! Have you seen that shit? Holy shit! What the hell? The vampire cult. Thank you, soul. The uh, growth has become a little bit more uh, important since they nerfed the growth on the core building. But uh, it's not really worth building these buildings unless you have uh, anything tier 3 or higher is not worth building without a ship carpenter. It actually saves a lot of money and helps with the snowball. A lot of these technologies are pretty bad. And the ones that are good are too good. This is uh, Bob's replenishment on the zombie pirate Dekens mob and the gunnery mobs. Capital, uh, we got the vampiric corruption here. Obedience of the vampires, because they are the vampires. Captain of the Coast doesn't say on the faction effects, but we have uh, six relations with the Fallos Nagash. And minus 100 with the vampire cost mutineers. To be reckoned with. Look at this, you can actually get mortars on turn 4. This is ridiculous. That is bonkers. That's why we had a rule for this for a challenge campaign. You just get mortars early game and it's such a terrible campaign. Ridiculous. I have to say our best unit early is the Mongols. It's really crazy, right? Mongols and pole arms. Hmm. So our best units are probably the zombie pirate deckhands more with pole arms. This is uh uh this scene is a little bit too good. And uh, the Mongols. At least up to four Mongols. After four, uh, they actually get much worse. The sirens are unreliable without uh, other things. On their own, then they're, they're not reliable. Uh, they have a 36 leadership. They kick in much later, uh, much later. Talking about early game, like the first 20 turns. Later sirens are one of the best. I'm not sure we're gonna go for the black flag first. Since uh, he's a wizard, but not really a wizard, uh, the campaign skills are preferable. But the thing is, uh, we're not gonna use him here uh, as a melee expert or terror guys uh, to tank and artillery and range blittering everything. So we might need to consider uh, a little bit more damage. The pirate king only knows victory! This unit also has only 36 leadership. One 
thing is sure we need to get out here. This is probably the worst building to get. But, uh... It does, uh, gives us a hero in the gunnery mob on tier 3. On a, on a faction capital like this could be okay. Not sure. I, I think we definitely have to use the deck gunners. We have to use deck gunners. And, uh. Since uh, we're gonna be using deck gunners, the terror guys are better than the rotting leviathans. These guys will cause obstruction and they, uh. Not don't have the, f the f flexibility of our terror guys. This is gonna be our primary range unit, I think. Maybe one or two handguns uh, for anti large. Hmm. I don't understand why this unit is not tier 2. This building should really be on here. And cannons just have shitty range. It's like it's too slow with shitty range. It's so easy to uh, 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 to go around. Even the AI can do it. Now this is our uh, this is our best unit in the beginning. Hmm, so what are we gonna get on the ship, man? We'll get uh, Groat, we'll get the ship's carpenter. Uh, I think this building will be, uh, the main deck will be on the ship. Don't need the settlement. It's also uh, messes up the uh, garrison somewhat. We need the rebellions. Shit, this is a useless building. I am the pirate king. Interesting how uh, how th these things are reversed, huh? Oh, we have enough slots. We don't have to keep this building later, anyways. But this human building is still worth getting because of the uh, abilities and the deck gunners. Those mm. fools. This does give us economy. We do need growth. Back to your ranks. Death is at the door. Go there. Mm, we'll encamp. Bolster the galleon. Mm, don't care about this. Uh, we can always raise that. Only seven hundred. Mm. Kind of useless here. Get a groat. I guess we'll get plunder pile for now. A force to be reckoned with. And this one is uh, unlocking the vampire fleet captains on tier three. comes from the captain's cabin. The 
this uh, this one here and this one here are priority, but I still want to get uh, this one, uh, otherwise we waste so much gold early. Okay. Looking forward to see how this is gonna be without artillery. It's a little bit intimidating playing uh, this faction without artillery. Because artillery is half of this faction. Take the member coast and limit our enemies, whoever uh, it, that is at the time. As you were. Six gold right now. Is the Nautilus must try to receive. No, no, it's an Nessa for sure. Noctilus is pretty, pow pretty powerful. King of the Vampire Coast. There are two handguns. We could blow one of them and surprise the other one with one goals. The flying units are really weak to uh, to dump powder. These units and these units, they pretty much work the same. They both want to end up in, in melee, except one has, has some uh, shooting uh, before they reach melee. This thing, how this unit has 30 missile resistance, but it doesn't say why. Strengths. That's a weird formation. Maybe because you have uh, so few units. Drag them here uh, for a second.
We'll get if the zombies die, the zombies are expendable. I know, sure. Turn all to rubble. This is a tier two. We occupy the drops of tier one. We increase the chance of rebellion when we sack it. My realm grows. Leave nothing behind. I don't think we can time it with the rebellion of the couple. We have to go uh, clear the other side, so just best nice of luck. Oh my god. Hey, dumb man. Have you seen that shit? In five months. Holy shit. I've been playing Vampires again. Uh, not really my favorite faction. I don't mind playing them though. I like the percentages in this one. These guys uh, want more settlement there, just because they're gonna cause a, try to cause a strife here. They want also kind of like a buffer here, though. And this is a port, and you get additional income here as well, plus one pity corruption, too. Gets fifteen percent more say income as the admiral of the fleet. In the scaling are in the blood swamps. I mean we can see with the uh corruption uh, status. Could be there. Fear me. My mind rages. One fifteen coming to one treasure. And we got another treasure map. On the other side of the world. It's a minor I think, so who cares? Miserly. This one is Great Horde. The Great Horde rewards keeping him and on the other side. My madness is not weakness. Okay. This 
is a very nice building and uh, not even that crazy expensive. Right, we unlocked was uh, the Curse of the Sea Mist, the one with the attrition. This one requires three settlements. Right now we just need time for sure. This one is worth the building. What am I planning for army corps? I have not really decided yet, but uh, since no artillery we're gonna have to go with strong melee. And then magic support. With some range as well. Feel, still feels a little bit low. I am listening. I'll eventually get a hero uh, from the event. King of the Vampire Coast. My ocean. The chance we get another battle here. Frenzy and the Gleaming Pennant. Gleaming Trash. in sight. I guess our best composition would be uh, Polar Vampires. Terrorgeists and the Dead Gunners. Narcissist gives us melee defense and uh, Vangest range. Makes him slower though. important to get a commandment. This one is uh, kind of like a buffer here. Mm. So to unite his mind, uh, in a quest for slung gold and construct the ancient vault. There's a landmark here. That's a really good landmark for uh, perfection. Additional 20% magic item drop chance. Really good. The other effects are pretty good too. Destroying techless early uh, is usual, the usual way to do this, but without mortars it's too risky. I am the pirate king. Look at this, a full army here. Master engineer, you seek certain. 
army here. King of the vampire cults. These hovels will do. This might be an act of war now that we have uh, trespassed twice there. We'll see what happens here. Holy shit. What the hell? What's the required 2000 infamy? 484. Very limited options without mortars. Hey Kali, thank you for support. The resource buildings for the Vampire Coast are probably some of the worst in the game. They haven't uh, fixed that yet. Grow building here for time being. Undead pirates. What are the rest of the guys even doing here? Talosaurus has lost the battle. is going up. There's an extra treasure here. He else could declare war for us and like, from mine. us. So they're not uh, always safe to get the full speed. No ray is dead on the sea. It's gonna be a bug. Encounter techless some. Your small schemes are of no interest to me. Oh yeah. I have no interest in a war. For some reason Techless doesn't start a war with these guys. It uh, don't make no sense. It makes it more difficult uh, uh, to deal with the player, I guess. Oh look at this. I just picked up my treasure. Uh, Mormon Hunter is is uh, pretty strong, so we should get uh, him instead. Will help. Bullet for it, pretty good. Pretty good. This is not cunning. The range, uh, Chuck by Hell, ranged. Anything you do to get those extra shots to, to kill them faster. All about the range. I, I have sacked the temple of Gilgadresh and slaughtered the tigers of Ind. You think me intimidated? Lock it, stop you? talking nonsense. Those uh, lands are made up and you know it. Shipmate. Oh, mm -hmm. King of the vampire cult. 
step. Six turns. It's worth waiting before you get tier three. It's worth waiting. But uh, uh, follower is uh, gonna save you uh, over a hundred k during the campaign easily. It's like about the uh, the, uh, the far east uh, of this uh, of this universe, which is currently not in the game. The Galliot's graveyard only offers death to your kind. This is futile. We join wars here, but uh, and they can invite the others to war, which is not good. The ocean surrounds us all. This is fine. It's turn 25, there is no shades. Well, you can get shades on tier 2, or you can just get dark shards with, uh, with uh, shields or without shields. It's the crossbows that cause the most carnage with the... Uh, with the Dark Elves. Not the monsters, crossbows. I think this guy is too much for us at the beginning. We don't have the leadership to fight that. Oh, really? He's just be lining for them, huh? Oh, this is weird. I'm actually being this aggressive. This guy's a little bit problematic right now. And this place might rebel. Pretty much just need treasures right now. Shame they're taking that other one there. Let's keep some military strength here. I am the pilot king. We get the awakening to tier three, we get access to a bigger port, and we get access to uh Mongol hunt Mongol hunters, Mongols. Uh hey tech priest, uh, I said we're gonna be doing one or two campaigns before the patch. Uh in February. We've been on the break nearly four weeks. Four or five box of marsh makes more sense here. Because it has a different uh, economic building. There's nothing to do right now. We could go or to war with the. Uh, we could go to war with these guys, but they're gonna uh, they're gonna lose this to rebels, so it doesn't matter. We just cause trouble here. Go to war with these guys, then these guys declare war. And these guys declare war. You're dead. No mortars. You're dead. Curse 
my crowded psyche. Back to your ranks. It was used to be 200, 400. I, I thought so too. I hear voices. Tyrant. Me you too. Bolster the galleon. Uh, this is not worth uh, building until you get the ship's computer. You want to save uh, half of it. Every ship upgrade that's tier 3 should be done with the ship's computer. You transfer it around the uh, admirals. This 100 gold is quite nice, but we'll be more with this one so we can drop this one. Right now, just there's really nothing to do. Uh, actually, taking these guys down is... Uh, uh, as a downside, you meet two more factions and you destroy the buffer in the area. Feared by all. Oh my god! Have you seen that shit? Holy shit! What the hell? I either go full uh, melee deck hands or full range deck hands. The mix uh, doesn't really work. If I go full like this, uh, uh, it's just more convenient. And uh, these are fully expendable units. The other ones are as well. This one's slightly better than melee, but the other ones can get like two, one, one or two shots, sometimes more. So it's better for flanking and taking down a larger units. Will this one just die? They're more plentiful though. Hey Grim Society, thank you for 22 months. Clone face got destroyed. Look at the Dark Hills, expanded directly into the player. And yeah, there is a battlefield in Blood Storms, uh, we can see it. But we have to wait a couple of turns before it fills up. This is actually bad, but uh, he's also at war with Itza, so sh should make Clan Pestan survive a bit longer. Everybody else is busy, except uh, uh, Teclis. And we don't have Mortar, so Teclis is a problem. The best thing to do right now is to do nothing. We need the, the, the traits, the sea legs and the taskmaster. Ten turns each. The dead do not tire. Set sail. Settlements will not be stable. Especially the vampire cause fully full uh, of uh, corruption. Well, we have access to gunpowder in just not artillery, which is kind of half of this faction, so that's why it's in our know, challenge. The Kraken Lord comes, and all. And I wish Follows and the guys would do uh, good in this campaign. Bonsai! Fool under a 
underestimates his adversary. It's not a good if stands back. King of the vampire. Bonsai! All schemes are of no interest. He got out scheme, friend. You're gonna burn. Oh man, look at this. God damn. To their <sighs> They go to tier 3. The Amunar just hit the settlement, but they've never taken the, da the damage. It's funny how the city nearly gets destroyed, but not uh, the garrison. Eclis is on the Fuming Serpent. For the looting. This is actually funny, because... Uh, uh, look at this, no damage. Man. And the Amunar got hit. Dread in, you dregs. It is time. Kill! A mass murder is due! Mm, the sea monster attacked the city. Yeah. It's actually pretty bad here, huh? Because you don't have the leadership. Let's see what happens. This is kind of a risky uh, thing to do. Even if we raise the city, uh, they can still uh, mess us up uh, next turn. I think it's worth t taking the chance. Arkan is back in five turns if something bad happens anyways. We have two blooded corpses, more than two would be pretty bad. This settlement is, the, uh, is a special uh, settlement, uh, so it has a bad garrison. Otherwise, it uh, would be much easier here. Without mortars, it's it's a problem. But I assume they were gonna put uh, most of this stuff here, and the eagle, and the morn, uh, I mean the mongols could actually take the center. Uh, so we can use uh, tactics. Elf infantry usually just all, all on the wall. Dick. It'd be nice to actually pull that eagle. Teglis has an army, doesn't matter what survives, we just can't win. the leadership for this, that's the worst thing. Just no leadership. Those two should be enough to handle the eagle. The artillery pieces actually hold the center, so we have to get more there. It's actually one unit there. He 
needle is faster than that, so uh have to get away. There's just not enough leadership here to do anything with melee units. But I hope the Mongols will be enough to take this. That's why they're pretty good for the sieges. I need to get, uh, make that eagle get away from the city. Those units are stalkers, so this type of, of strategy makes total sense. What uh, other benefit is a stalker in, in a siege or otherwise? You just don't have enough leadership to do anything in melee. The units are like have superpowers compared to ours. I see it! Into position! Now! Quickly, now! Not Stay here for the leadership order. Before he gets shot, we have to do this. But Argon is pretty good to uh, start to duel a mobile. Mobile doesn't excel against uh, infantry. Still have pretty impressive stats with martial prowess. This takes forever to move these units here. Why are we losing leadership here? Getting down more, we're supposed to be eating eagles for breakfast. What the hell, Fetzo? Who, who gave that order? Jumping on one guy. Don't you dare jump unless there are at least 60 guys to jump on. If they don't have range, they're fucked. But uh, this doesn't mean anything. Talking about their uh, their army. address the uh, capture center since we have units in the wall. Guy, we got a little bit extra money. He just shot him. Yeah. Duelist totally on the on them. Well, against the army in the field, we probably have no chance. But I'm hoping at least one turn of punishment. Douglas is not here. Nice. I think he's next to the settlement that was taken by the Dark Elves.
We would never kill them. Never. It's impossible with these units. Lob and Seagar can probably kill like 700 zombies. If you don't get a clear shooting lines, there's no way to kill them. That's why you need mortars. This is a little bit excessive. A step too far. I can't flee. Little bit excessive. Three points of planes, one points in free booter to get a go on account. Roll. They should not have range here. Should not have range here. Yes. An admiral. Can I at least put him outside the army? He's uh, his value. The vampire coast prevails. Speak up. My clouded psyche. The zombies just get absolutely destroyed by the archers. They have no leadership and uh, they don't have the range. But we still need some presence. They could easily retake the city or just go north. Let me go for awakening. What was that? Uh, was a big horde. It was Great never horde. In doubt. If it has the range, we lose the uh, the uh, the, uh, the, Mo the, uh, the Mongol hunter. What's happening to the Blood Swamps? Rebels? A sheep Carpenter. Lord's Army, 50% cheaper uh, trash goes for shipbuildings. That's, uh, that's how we get economy. And, and uh, infrastructure. So we're at war now, we need to investigate where are they. Never. Why is he not taking attrition? Is Isha right? Ludicrous. What the fuck? No settlements. Not taking attrition. No. Must be head right of Isha, that's the only way to explain it. Uh huh. They can't cheat with this. Halfway. This is how the game works. Let's go five leaders for the zombie pirate deck in mobs. I refuse. So how long is right of Isha? Ten turns. <sighs> is it ten turns? Forty turns cooldown, I think. We kill Ketek Lissi, there will be like 
so good. So good. It's a guard. Make your entreaty quickly. There are mortals to enslave. Such insolence. So good. How oh, your end shall be swift. But there will be one. Kormar. Back to your ranks. Move those bones. Ludicrous. Luther Harkon. Start building this even with a pen penalty. Goes for the star tower, we can just start him out. Doesn't seem like he's gonna go for the settlement. Maybe he's gonna check those ruins there. The, uh, the awakened Luther Harkon. Bad gives us a uh, spell Kraken's pool. No. Still hasn't disbanded any units. Must be nice. Okay. Okay. A solo stone, it's actually a pretty good one to get early. My madness is not weak. <laughs> God damn it, he's not a wizard. That's an oversight, man. Half wits. King of the Vampire Coast. I can't say. Never. Never. I refuse. He might go for the ruin here. Even with the ruin, he has enough military force to stop us, which is uh, really absurd. not taking attrition right now which is uh, which is bad for us those guys losing the settlement here was uh, unfortunate no, he's just going for the awakening it seems The evil powers are uh, fighting the right enemies in last year right now. Jesus. That right is out of control. There's been in one unit, or did they remove here out of the I army? We embark again soon. Never. Back to your ranks. I think he's gonna attack Awakening here. I refuse. 
Need to end Techless. No. Hello, sorry, got wrecked. Admiral. The Kraken Lord cometh. You I will not. One pestilence and well as dead are kinda uh we have the same interests right now. And pestilence. Granted. But Itza is gonna destroy everything with that uh, Dandino army. Pretty silly. Bring more. Riddle of Ualatap. Great Horde. Now we dealt with Teclis without mortars, at least in the army. It was a very sneaky uh, taking of the Star Tower. Very sneaky. No. Hmm. We do have really good units here. There's even one mortar. We need to uh, finish them off so we don't lose a, a settlement to somebody else there. The funny thing is, this is still a, a really problematic fight, I think. Just raise that after. We can't really do shit with the melee here against this. 56 melee defense. We don't have Dwangi's Revenge. Blow up most of the infantry. We still have to deal with low leadership. Five six it's eighteen hundred and another four three thousand. Definitely much happier here with two mortars from the garrison. God damn like this. This uh, this shit can go very wrong, because this leadership in the beginning of the undead campaigns is so unreliable that you just get stoned by the uh, better armies. But should be fine if the if the exploding guys hit their targets. They can answer everything. We have a slow arm, but they still can answer everything. The 
mortar will help against uh, archers. You can throw the garrison on the boss first. Their quality infantry get there faster. The rest of them is gonna be way too slow to move there. Way too slow. God damn zombies super slow. Flyers will handle the artillery there. Should have a fire there. Those swordsmen for the kill us all. I'm the fence up! Two. Swordsman, what swordsman? You guys have issues killing the Atelier crew, Jesus. One person here. We'll just keep pushing these guys uh, until they run out of uh, room to move. Them elves, the guns, boys. What we got from the Empire? Show them the guns. Give me 
We're actually uh, not killing uh, uh, enough of them. They're gonna break all like this. What the fuck? Five minutes! Did the TD crew still live? Five minutes! Killed enough on the other side, but uh, I'll finish him off here. Finn Takeless is uh, is very nice. This is our biggest obstacle in the beginning. Without mortars, uh, I mean, you see how we handled it. We were sneaky. We have to uh, uh, we have to use different uh, strategies uh, when you when you have challenge uh, ahead. As in this campaign, we have no artillery on, in the armies. You can still use artillery from the garrisons. I love how these guys can't even catch uh, infantry. 37 versus 45. They go immediately fresh when they start rolling. Got it, 34 kills, damn. Damn. Kill them. Raise them. And money. Power. More power. More power. Plus 10, yeah. Luther Harkon. Curse my crowded psyche. Mm, we can get a uh, uh, free booter one point for 9% more post battle loot. It's such a strong point for one point feeler. It's gotta be one of the best feelers. My madness is not weakness! King of the Vampire Coast! Undead pirates! I am the Pirate King! Mm, we cannot resolve this, too much casualties. Bad hobbles! Bad. Angle on this side here for the guns. have range outside the uh, skirmish for the, for the eagle. Skirmish, uh, shit, shit, skirmish. Skirmish with eight range is impossible. Rugby. Into 
23 speed, god damn! This may give a take for the zombies to move at 24, 25. If we have firing lines, these guys do ten times more damage. End of Order of Lore Masters. Feels good, man. Taking the uh, the salmon the salt. So we now need a little replenishment here. There is no stopping me. Keep up now. Nobody else has been lying here. Do not tire. Loyal here. The resistance is up with defense and uh, other stuff. Goodies. We can be patient, a little bit patient about this. Thing of the vampire coast. Eve Cox. The uh, vampire, uh, Lord of Vampires. I think it's not bad. It gives poison if you want to decide to go melee. The vampire coast Let's look at the gun in the white. But nice to take this province next. So take Blood Swamps, then start Tower, and then uh, make this rebel. Hmm. 
don't have 2000 yet for this, so I can still go for uh, this first. Very nice uh, for mowing. Mm, just wait for this. Oh, yeah, the Arvin Park can use it. I think we'll uh, have to be uh, patient with this because uh, we're currently lacking money. Hello there. Hello. 4.5 thousand casualties. My madness is not weakness. Ah, uh, easy game, easy life. Good night, Frosty. We can take a uh, star tower and this one probably rebel after. I've secured the Vampire Coast, Eternal Service, the hail. So we could uh, use this to stabilize public order. The loyalty seems relevant for this faction. This one is amazing. Really amazing. They have pretty nice uh, uh, commandments. Pretty nice. Some is kinda lost on me, why would I ever use this one? But the other three are pretty good. Kill or be killed. Need fresh recruits. I hear voices. Me too! I am the pilot king. We might get a terror guess here with a bit of luck. How much long we can push this income here? We do need to get better stuff so we can go explore the Call sea. yourself a pirate! Because you pop in a few drowns, you are nothing! Such insolence! What do you seek, ghoul? My deference! Let us see what you offer. Amuse the Kraken Lord of Karen Car, Or suffer my displeasure. Every skull that decorate, you have my attention. The question, amuse the Kraken Lord of Ka What do you seek, ghoul? My the sea dead come to me, but the Kraken Lord is far from impressed. I can't even destroy Itza. Full of shit as usual. Full of shit. Itza with their bullshit dino army. Dino's horned one! Yes? My mind rages. We need to save uh, for the settlement. Mm. I'm mean, nice to take this province here as well. We still have to build up this as well too. So we'll start building next turn. Curse my crowded psyche. Undead pirates. Southlands rise dead pools. Damn. Let's better corruption here. Master. Crazy. And I'm greedy here. Okay, let's see if we can get away with this. This is good for rebellions. Oh, 
souls our booty. An admiral. We don't have the money to build up uh, in multiple settlements right now. I don't care about garrison here. You, you just have to stay in the region. Uh, God damn it, what the hell? You gotta stay uh, stay in the region just to spread extra corruption. Luther Harkon is a threat. Uh, we'll make this rebel from corruption and we'll farm the rebels here. There's nothing else to do right now. This province will just get built up and we get better news before we do anything else. There's absolutely no rush at all. We can face Itza or uh, Kal Sotek. We have to go up with slow with corruption anyways. Just need uh, other other stuff. Hopefully uh we can get a treasure somewhere. Maybe we'll spawn. So we're basically just gonna be explore uh, expanding here passively. Maybe they don't build walls here and we can take this down to rebels. You should not wait for this, I guess. We could really use a treasure right now. There's actually uh oh nice just what we need. Actually uh there is a extra effect uh, on the faction where the game doesn't tell you on the faction selection screen but it tells you in the game so you get uh have this as well. Plus sixty with followers Nagash and minus a hundred with Emperor Mutineers. Doesn't tell you on the faction uh, effects on the when you still select the faction. gonna be perfect here. We just got the money that we need to keep uh, to get this, uh, the ports up. This place will uh, rebel, no doubt. I wanna get another uh, Mongols. Uh, I don't feel really safe with this composition. This movement is currently glitched because we force landed. We have to leave and camp for one turn. I am listening. Don't really need her in the army right now. On land. Let's get a, a pirate go somewhere. Uh, we have actually a dwarf campaign, uh, uh, a Karzakara campaign, M30. Uh, that one will probably be soonish. Here we go to Lothran, uh, but hmm. they're gonna meet us eventually, right? Probably uh, best to put a one per court there. Should they just delay a lot until we have more power in Lustria. The ports here are gonna generate a lot of money. This is five ports here.
this place will rebel because uh, they're building up corruption. It does look like these guys might just get killed here. Don't be scared by my helm, as intimidating as it is. Fear the being that wears it. The crew will see to it. I might get this soon as well. He likes to be destroyed techless. I would love for clump pestilence to defeat uh, these bastards here. Because if the evil faction doing right in last three, the last three becomes much less uh, tedious for Luther Harkon, you can do other things. Because you can just military ally with them. Having the coast is one thing, but having to go uh, to the rest of the jungle is another. Well, it would be nice that actually clump pestilence or uh, the... I mean, you do have to uh, destroy them as well. So who would be nice to control these territories? Nobody, you have to destroy them. Military allies, huh? So you're gonna have to take them yourself anyways. Oh my god! Have you seen that shit? Holy shit! So much for the military allies, right? This will hit more money soon. Ports are going up. Pistol ready. I am the pirate king. Hey, car, thank you. Curse my crown and psyche. I need treasures in the water and I need money right now. Preferably while not spending too much. My madness is not weak. We're kinda uh, pushing it with the uh, 109, but uh, uh, if I lower income any lower than this, I won't be able to build anything. This one is worth building. This is a massive vampiric corruption. Massive. Not so low as the upkeeps. Right now, uh, downtime is welcome. For the next 15 to 20 turns, we have a couple of rebellions incoming. Booming Serpent Rebellion, we're just building up uh, these two provinces while uh, trying to unlock a couple of tier 4 units. It's really, really don't need to do anything other than this. We can get a couple of pirate calls to cut pirate calls more or less. Course plotted. It's a rebellion here in two turns. This place is generating okay money already. This place will be corrupted and the rebels will probably destroy it. They will without walls. This will hit tier 3 and require a lot of money to build. So we need more money. Amuse the Kraken Lord of Karen. I am the master. <laughs> Not ever. My master will return. He's getting deleted. Deleted. Bow to the Lich King. This one is a more priority. Can we actually get this one next turn? We can. The port as well, though. Port is a more priority. Than, uh, it's both are actually a priority. We need money. Ideally, we would like to get uh, something in the water. But the rebels are here, so best to stay here until corruption is increasing. We're vampires. We relied on uh, vampiric corruption for public order. The lack of corruption, difficulty level, plus taxes makes uh, rebellions non stop. So this gets already percent. This is not gonna be stable. And we can take province here uh, while building a uh, pretty corruption. So 
we'll get some money here and some experience. There's nothing else to do. There we go. They have a dino army, uh, and one of our settlements is exposed. So probably we won't be much building much there. Past tier two, unless we can see where they are. It's two enemies, but yet still he declares war here. This is the rebels in the stretch of Yotl. A little bit for March Saints. Uh, 10 turns in March Saints, you get a Taskmaster. Trait for March Saints. Otherwise, it's hard to get a trait uh, with the, with the Vampir Coast. But he could just be line for the Blood Swamps, and uh, we would not be any wiser. Huh? There's a play going on. At least they haven't taken the capital, so that's a good thing. Approach me, thing, and beg I do not infect you with my, my latest brew. Affirmation. The Kraken Lord cometh. You I will not. Clump Peasants loves you when you fight the Itza. Hmm. There's definitely a couple of buildings we can build here, too. This one is still a little bit more money than this one. We just need uh, much more money. It's a shame not to start upgrading this one though. Uh, this will hurt us uh, maybe by one turn if we don't do it. We have to start upgrading this fast. I'm getting twitchy. Is there a rebellion here? Undead. Make this quick. It was a nice downtime here, but uh, we could get focused here, so it's gonna create some vacuum mauling. Ready. Wave treading. So the worst thing that happened right now, uh, they could be line blood swamps, pretty much. We're gonna be probably here for at least six turns. We are tight on money, and there are no treasures, treasures around, uh, at least not uh, encounters in the water. My mind rages. I do get units from here, and we can uh, tell for sure if they are here or not. Hopefully, uh, these guys will cause enough uh, pressure so the Itza doesn't send anything here. It doesn't make any sense for Itza to attack this because they have only two, only two enemies here. Curse my crowded sight. Over switching command on the awakening. Could actually uh, buy us some time, yeah. Might uh, not do nothing, but uh, towards the end, it could actually buy us some time. Especially if they end the turn uh, 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 while entering the province. They do take attrition because it's uh, hi highly corrupted. We have to spread with repeating corruption, the same as the vampire counts. Lake Knights on a tier 1 settlement. The settlement doesn't even have recruitment facilities. Tyrant of Nagaroth. You have my attention. The question is, so not all. Looks like uh, looks like he got wrecked. 
They're, bo uh, they're uh, taking a loss on both sides. Is this time between the rounds the best thing they have ever done? Pretty much. Because, you know, they can now keep expanding the world. Now it comes to the difficult uh, part of the job, balancing the uh, Mortal Empires campaign map. with Belfield. Luther Luther uh, the Mongols uh, could do okay against the Black Knights if we pin them with a hero first. Army is pretty basic right now because I'm trying to save some money so I can build some buildings. We can only get some very nice units uh, from the race dead. A huge Kevin army got defeated uh, in the on November close points. Yes. Yes, Damage is massive. Nice natural uh, resistance to missiles, the Mongols. as a halberd so doing uh, some damage here. It's actually a uh, uh, second I thought it was the other one. Uh, my bad, it's uh, just a uh, just, uh, Strigo. Just like a little bit of resist here. damage there.
as long as they have the uh, the extra pod that's thirty percent more damage. Mods? Uh, they're not mods. Just playing the game. Uh, 900 and additional 400 here. Does help. It's gonna be highly rebellious, but this might get attacked. Make your entreaty quickly. There are mortals to enslave. Missing a little bit to start up in port. Many have I refused. And nobody wants to trade uh, deal uh, other treaties. Missing a hundred to start building this. This has to wait. I am the pilot king. Vampire coast prevail. Can't really do much here until we get Garrison. And this Garrison tier 2 is pretty weak. I can roll. We might need to ban this uh, settlement if uh, it's a uh, ghost for awakening. We will get there. They might. They might suicide. The dead do not tire. Fleet Captain reporting. Two levels immediately. We get the uh, Picaroon's hideout. Should be over for over uh, five hundred. Cows uh, are best way to increase income without uh, expanding much. Look at this, followers of Nagash already dead. Spinal Sword was declared war on Carlos Sword, that's amazing. For the Seascape Artist, it's a powerful uh, follower. Gives a uh, three percent campaign on the movement range, uh, campaign on the side, and ten percent campaign on the range. Uh, this should be you okay now. to experience the hospitality of Karen's car. You are nothing. The crew will see to it. I don't think they can handle it, so. Dino army is probably gonna grind them slowly to death. Is not weak, of the dead. Very few turns we can get a pirate call uh, with a hero. I mean, it's a cheaper action. This thing gonna take forever with our growth. That's why we need the settlement here. Black At least they have uh, somewhere to recruit an army. Uh, don't uh, uh, not rush to kill them. There's totally too many enemies in Lost as it is. We need to use the other factions to help us uh, to make it uh, smoother. Getting anything uh, soon here for tier three? We need money for the economy first. Not stupid. Can 
surpass my crowded psyche. Uh, we're almost getting there. Almost. We should uh, prepare the Admiral's astrolabes. So we can have our notorious Admiral ready when we need him. The officers are very strong and uh, we can recruit those guys plus 5 ranks. So we can take uh, 3 officers that we want. We just need the infantry to recruit them and then we fill the officers. Master. The uh, legendary admirals are loyal unlike the, uh, the regular uh, lords which are pretty crappy. It costs five thousands, uh, Nazrum. Five thousands. One more turn there, and we need four K. This is for the heroes capacity, Lord Recruit rank, infamy. This one is uh, Corruption Infamy, Infamy and Income, Percentage Income and Settlement, Income and Flat Income, plus Research and Trade. Of course, uh, uh, the Picron's Hideout is the way to go, other on the capitals, even on an average capital like Galleon's Graveyard. My ocean. Cease. I'm getting twitchy. Not. No, pirate We can start to get uh, upkeep production, which will uh, give us the income. We really need income right now. Really, really need income. <laughs> oh, not fixed yet. Tier 2, this settlement is just gonna be under risk. Dreadlord of Nagaroth, I am listening. Move those bones. Break next speed. Let's get a little few back into the army. We need healing. Are oh, we doing pretty good? Good. We should unlock a snake as hero to. I mean, with the sub faction, uh, go to war, so it's uh, there's a downside. Next thing uh, goes uh, for this, so at least get some safety here. It will lower their uh, the desire to attack that settlement. I still hope uh, uh, Clump Pestilence can do something there. The Dino army will get weak weakened eventually. Welcome to the Blessed Dread. I mean, uh, there's nothing to do here until we get corruption. Master Druki. They're friendly with the uh, uh, Blessed Dread and Clump Pestilence because Itza is a bit of a problematic faction to deal with in the be right now. And we're still waiting for tier 4 stuff. It's not actually a problem, uh, the problem that we don't have any treasures in, in uh, nearby. It's because we're getting rebellions to start our the uh, territories without uh, corruption for vampires are highly rebellious. Well, that's a pretty good one. Pretty good event. On deck, course plotted. Turns. These guys are not giving us military access here, so we're gonna have to trespass if we wanna go around. We can use the port. We can also use the port. It's probably the safest thing to do here. Put an army here uh, to guarantee it. And we should get uh, another unit here for sure. We can get some uh, quality units here now. 
We can also lower the upkeep further as well. So those units are going to be cheaper. 4k income is uh, nice. Very nice. Pirate Cove making 580 a turn. Will pay, uh, pay off in about 15 turns. We can consider adding some quality units here, but we can still upgrade these buildings. So there's a greed here involved as well. Trade buildings are really bad for this faction. Really bad. They have poorly designed and uh, this faction uh, doesn't really uh, do trade much. They should totally do something else. Wow. Well, I guess uh, they'll be living permanently here. This is an amazing event as well. Some nice events going on. Your orders. The Skaven have taken this from the Lizardman. Very good. My madness is not weak. There's a chance there's gonna be a terror guest here. We do only have one tier 5 unit. We'll try this once in action uh, on this campaign. Uh, we'll have to start slowly start recruiting those units. fight in two turns. Income is okay. It's because we don't have an army. The it's a proper army. King. My mind rages. Like Lord as the Lord, yeah. Not a great, not terrible. Oh, finally, Vampire Cosmic didn't go destroyed. It uh, looks like the Rebels got him. Lost the buffer there. So we might get attacked on, uh, on the west side now. This is perfect. Money, 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 money! The men urge me to slay you where you stand. I struggle to disagree. What just happened there? Clump Pestilence lost the bell on. It's also, also lost some power there. The Blessed Red will be able to counter attack from the side. They'll go around. It's kinda good they have this element here. Horrible against the undead, you can only get one bell. What is this surreal? Or make this quick. Corruption is at 49%, still low. The dead do not tire. Need fresh recruits. King of the vampire ghost. It was never in doubt. Money, 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 money. Yeah, we get that extra was very nice. The rest of the money goes in the ship building here. This is secure. We'll be starting to generate a lot of money once you also upgrade this. 
three ports gonna be a lot with uh, bear treasure upgraded. It's a lot of money. This is currently uh, highly rebellious and nothing we can do to fix it. It's gonna take forever to get next year. I guess we're gonna have a long uh, early game. Not very effective early game, but uh, still fine. And I also have to finish campaign by trade, right? We'll be getting some quality units here uh, soonish. The vampire coast Get another uh, Emperor Fleet Captain and send him uh, to get more pay pirate coast, preferably. Merigliana. Well, we encountered Kaladar, which means we'll encounter Lothar. Now I guess we have to go, go for Lothar now. Why did we encounter Kaladar? Because they are attacking uh, Count Noctilus. Okay, I got a Taskmaster, so we don't have to... Uh, there must be somewhere here. The decks of the river have not out of my sight. God, don't be scared by I think these guys can still Let's surprise Itza. So. Well, Clown Pestilence is certainly the drain. Yeah. Uh, Lothar will go after us uh, soonish as well because of this. So, this is the last thing we need for money here. Uh, and we can upgrade this as well. So, we can get a couple of units next turn. Yes? Forward. What? You say something. Hear me as you were. What the hell? I am the pilot king. Terrorgeist, terrorgeist, not terrorgeists. Fuming Serpent can still rebel. Request what you will. They want an alliance and they offer 1500 shekels. Two thousand? I'll take two thousand. We need money badly right now. We can work coordinate which settlement to attack now. Looks like Itza is invaded north and uh, head hunter jungle again. Going for the Itza would be nice, but then we'll uh, lose our tower. Maybe be, uh, uh, backdooring Itza to help uh, uh, get rid of them uh, would be the best. Undermine Itza to make uh, things easier for uh, everybody in Lastria. Itza is the is the, uh, the boogeyman of Lastria pretty much at this point. These guys have expanded here. What the? F what the hell? Bring How did they all went to war with those guys as well at the same time? Beeson went to war with Clump Pestilence. Of course they did. Why would they attack anything else when they can attack weak factions? Amuse the Kraken Lord. Of now these things will be a little bit complicated here. It's a new one. I want city here.
<laughs> Souls are booty. This one is pretty good. We got fourteen units right now. Leadership and melee defense, him as the be, uh, best igors. I'm going for the black flag for the uh, black flag first for the economy. My mind rages. My madness is not weakness. Hark on sale. Okay, let's double check here if uh, we miss something good here. Still early for the uh, Centuries Command. You want to get Centuries Command before you get this for the offices. This is a great take to do as well. This one is still bugged from the looks of it. This one is great. This one is great. 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 This area is some of the best technology they have. This one is pretty good, it will save us quite a bit of... Uh, uh, it's convenient. Will we get this in uh, 10 plus turns? I mean, let's get uh, the hero ones, uh, the hero and the lord one. This, this technology is a must to get as early as possible. We want to have this one before Notorious Admiral. It's all about representing magic for those bloated corpses. Well, the Mongols get it. And uh, if we don't use artillery, we're gonna have to use some of the Mongols because they have stock. My Until we can afford like four terror guests. The moment you can get terror guys, the more goes to shit. Nice, uh, blessed red backdoor uh, back into the jungle. This might rebel. Rebels. The Kraken Lord cometh. You're obedient. I will not. One pestilence is deep doo but the Itza is not that looking so good anymore. Master. I am the pilot king. A mass Power and this day. Nothing in the water. And we don't even need a unit building because we can just raise the dead. Just for the hero capacity. I mean, unlocking the hero recruitment. Pirates. 
the land is easy. Bolster the galleon. All uh, good is the Lord of Deep Actors spells it worth it on the on the uh, handguns and the cannon is pretty good. Everybody getting experience just uh, pretty much gets good accuracy. So as the units get uh, veterans, it's it gets weak weaker. Anything low range is, uh, should be still good. Magic attacks should be a yeah, magic attacks too. We need it. I love this one on tier two has uh, osmosis. Stronger than the vampire counts one. Got uh, the campaign skills: uh, lightning strike, coming preservative, and black flag. We get uh, uh, what's the population required here for? This is all now. Upkeep production will be at minus uh, 43%. Master. This one is uh, uh, still slowly increasing. I'm, this one is rebelled, I have no doubt. It might be end of the Blessed Red if they don't uh, stabilize here. It's impossible for them to stabilize it because it's carrying corruption. They're really in the capital for that. Provincial capital. I usually only see rats jumping off. Doesn't uh, pay me money, it's not worth it. Yeah, pays me. Need money. Push a little bit different structure, uh, but Luther Hagen is a better army. We need to secure the anti large. Hopefully, a terror guest or two. If not, deck uh, uh, gunners. If I build the walls here, the settlement will never reach uh, any 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 good uh, build uh, tier really. And I don't even think a tier two can actually handle the uh, the rebels, not without technologies. Some of the worst garrison in the game in a special city like this. Oh my God! Have you seen so I need to get growth and keep it as it is. A tier three uh, easily defended against the rebels, so we have to farm. <laughs> Fight the rebels here until uh, tier 3. At the end of the tank for 23 months. You have my attention. The question such insolence. How did he stabilize here? I bought build the pebble core building. That uh, event hey, as well. Why does this thing has only 90 range? It bothers me so much. Let's get more vampires. Need more pole arms and uh 
and Oxus. Just what they needed, beastmen here, uh, well, so the Itza can recover. My madness is not this is next here. I'll keep five handguns for now. These are anti large, we don't have enough uh, that we got pole arms. Oh, nice, Division lost. Thank God. They could have, uh, with a better RNG, destroyed Clan Pestilence there. That would have been really bad. Clan Pestilence can annoy uh, Itza for a while longer. Yeah, they'd be lined for Clan Pestilence. I am the Pirate King. Get an alliance here, we can work coordinate. And I may hold the I am the master. It shall be done. This we don't have to uh, do it the other way around anymore. So the beastmen raise this one and the rebels raise this one. Holy shit! Is this Lord Scroll or uh, Lord Quick? Now get go get those dinos now. Hear me. Full stone vermin. No problem. No problem. Building here. There's an army in that city. There's another rebellion here. We need to grow here. How much does this one matter? It doesn't really matter. Two. I hear voices. Uh, crabs. Uh, we'll get it on the on the uh, horde on the ship building. Ship building. Most likely. It's kind of weird that uh, uh, the deck gunners are not on gun ports and they are on cannons. I guess they had to put something here on tier 4. It was kind of forced. You say something? Crazy! Not stupid. My madness is not weakness! I'm getting there. My crown something in the water appears. <laughs> Still push corruption so everything uh, loses public order, so it's worth it. I am the pirate king. Back to your ranks.
Keep the waters in sight. Lord of the Black. We'll coordinate on Axlotl. We can only start out onto tier three. Not even sure if it's worth it. But I would definitely love to send another vampire fleet captain somewhere. Maybe the ones we have to lo to load them back. It's totally worth it. It's huge uh, long-term money. That is uh, Silex. It's plus eight percent movement. The Vampire Cause is some of the best campaign wound range in the game. Bad. There is no stopping me. Far. It was never in doubt. No treasures. I guess uh, just a little, bit, a little bit more patient. I would love to destroy this city here, but uh, they're AFK. Uh, thing of the vampire coast. I guess we just go explore there. Found the way. Send little Fifi to Lothran. Sail away. Wave treading. Luther Hartog. Almost got a black flag. Loyalty is Extra money. Yes. The sea is uh, shared, so get a punishment. Considering this one, but we have to pay six thousands. So we don't have to focus it on the on the uh, ship. This is close though, and we're gonna need a lot of money for that. One of these buildings has to be here, and because uh, we can't really focus all the all on, on the shipbuilding yet. This is not even worth building here, but you do get abilities, so you kind of want to build it. This is the most reliable way to get the uh, the the district terror guest. I guess we're definitely not building the gun ports. The Vampire Coast prevails. Hey, Johnny. Mm, this was a milestone campaign from last year. Is that pointless in tier 5? Of course. Of course it is. Really nothing to do. Nothing to do. Just, uh, just wait for something to happen. Rats jumping off. Corrupt uh, volcanic isles, but we can't without a second region. I have no what a shitty event! You lose money and and get damage. Capitan. Voyaging. My mind. God's crack. Dread Lord of the Druid. Welcome to the Blessed Dread. Will you be staying? 
Network Horn against Itza. Treasure. Is there a bell in here? Two turns. My madness is not weakness. A treasure. As a crow flies. Kill or be killed. Fifteen turns for tier three wall. Master. Um, the kind of omen until they get uh, the uh, the Dino armies. The Dino armies are carrying the Lisbon right now. Which is the one most powerful thing the AI can do. Of any AI, really. In the beginning of this area, some, it's nice to uh, depend on the, some of the other factions to uh, be a buffer so you build up early game. But eventually you wanna get rid of them. Navigating. Duel to the death. Make your entreaty quickly. I will not. Uh -huh. Nice, we can uh, start building that. Money is very good. We're gonna get Pirate Co. in Lothan as well. One more campaign skill point, and then we'll work on the bell skills or the unique skills. Pens. Pen skills uh, for the Harkon early are uh, key to economy. We have huge movement range. I am the pirate king. Straight in, you. Stay here for corruption. The dead walk. Uh, actually, one more, one more for Black Flag. Will be an upkeep reduction of uh, forty-three, twenty-three. Sixty-eight percent. Undead. Astride the waves. You say something. The stronger. The better. Just give us another vampire fruit, Captain. Unlock tier four units. This is a uh, really not relevant to build. Not really. This does help with the garrison if it's under attack, but we don't expect anybody to attack in that. They, build, uh, they have, do have a uh, 12 unit garrison here, so they didn't build anything extra. Campaign 
main skills here, so to support extra corruption in the post battle loot. We'll sell uh, the lot and get another pirate go. Infamy at uh, 1457. All the good stuff here is tier 4 and 5, so nothing is really worth here building. Something is currently too expensive, uh, we need some money for the next year. This one is actually fine. This one is huge for public order. Especially uh, early on. This one is highly corrupted, so we don't have to worry about public order here. But it also gives uh, growth and other things. This one is good uh, once we start expanding further into the jungle. Now it takes over. Bad. Kraken's pool. But this is their army. The this guy's going around. You are nothing. Def Defense allowance is allowed us to work coordinate here. Love how we pushed uh, some corruption here already. Okay, uh, we got tier 4 here, we get another Vampire Fleet Captain. But uh, we need technology 2 turns to get plus 5 ranks, so we're gonna wait 2 turns. By hook or sword, they'll fall. Let's uh, see what As else can were. we get here. Keep up now. Oh, for now. For now. Ooh, handguns. Handguns. Tier 4 here. Uh, this one of the battery units we have access to. What? I'm getting twitchy. This was saying plus one capacity, this was saying uh, plus one capacity, now it doesn't say anymore. Why did it change? What the hell? Book, are you here? <laughs> now I'm gonna have to check the VOD so I'm not crazy. Stormy. What the 
heal. There's a capacity here. There's a capacity here. So it's on, on the ship building. It's not on the co on the uh, uh, on the buildings. Plus one capacity plus one capacity. You can see it here. The ship building gives it, so you can get extra five. Master. Not the city. My ocean. As soon as die so fast, now there's all has a low armor. It's critical to get. Uh, I mean, this one. Uh, this one doesn't affect more goals. It's so bad for the single player. Because they're not carcasses, you know. They're vampires. This one will be so nice to affect Morgul's, make Morgul's viable late in the game. As the technology exists, the Morgul's are shit compared to crabs. But uh, it's not, they're not used for the same role. The crabs uh, tank and slowly grind down the enemy while the Morgul's surprise and destroy the enemy. Because, you know, they, they get in. Almost like invisible cavalry. Two armies on Itza. Feels bad, man. Come on, Clump Pestilence, you can do it. So there's gonna be a router restart. Mm, we can wait for this one. Anyways, boys, uh, this is gonna be it for now. Uh, we're going to be uh, continuing this uh, later today. Today is Saturday. Uh, we're, still, we're gonna be playing this. Uh, other than this campaign, there is gonna be another campaign played, maybe Karazakarak uh, with those uh, absurd rules. Uh, and I'll still be mixing things in between, maybe some random Battle Brothers stream, some Gwent, or whatever I feel like. Not gonna be going crazy into Warhammer 2 again until they release the patch. So we'll be just uh, still playing some campaigns, some uh, uh, leftovers. Thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you later today.